Today we're going to be looking at the circuit switching technique. This technique is mainly used in the old telephone networks or the PSTN, the public switched telephone network. In this technique there are a number of switching boxes that are available in different areas, in different streets and most likely all the phones from one street your phone, your neighbor's phone are all connected to the same switching box up the road and similarly in every road and all these switching boxes around town are connected together like an example this phone here has this number 321 and we're going to be dialing that number in this technique the communication consists of three phases the call setup phase which we must first dial up and establish a circuit and then data transfer which enables us to transfer information and then finally the call clear so every call or every communication consists of those three phases now when we start communicating we'll dial that number the user or the initiator will start dialing the number three to one when the first number is dialed it, it gets as far as the first switch and the switch starts rotating to connect that phone number or that line with the next switching box and the second switching box will rotate based on the second number and so on and all these switches in the switching boxes will establish the contact the phone should start ringing and it will continue to ring until the user picks up the, the phone and at the moment that phone is picked then we say the call setup phase is finished so now we have a contact established between the source and the destination phones all the way from source to destination and this particular circuit this connection is uh, a dedicated link it means it's not shared it's only dedicated for those two users and for as long as this call is continuing this link is available if the link breaks at any stage then that call is terminated and if either one of the users here terminates or hangs up the handset then the call is terminated and the circuit is cleared and the switches go back to neutral position again ready for any other calls disadvantage in order to send a short message one has to go through this call setup phase which could take few seconds and the fact that it's going to take few seconds makes it unsuitable for transmitting short messages anytime one dials a number there's always the possibility of getting blocked if this link between those two switching boxes is busy with one particular call then no more calls can be passed through this link normally in in this system circuit switching technique one link means one call while in other switching techniques maybe one link physical link could mean 10,000 calls used on that link this technique is most inefficient as it only allows one call per per link and that's a very uh, efficient way of communicating and the channel capacity so once you have this channel assigned to this call to those two users even if the users do not send any data and the line or channel is idle it is still booked and dedicated to those two users and it cannot be used by other users so that's another inefficient way of how this circuit switching technique operates as far as the robustness of this circuit this circuit if a link breaks at any point there is no alternative route and the communication is terminated or the call is terminated so as far as robustness and ability to deal with problems um, it's non tolerant to any link breaking the couple of advantages of this technique and one of them is that quality of service is extremely high so if, if speed is required this is the fastest way of transmitting data apart from the call setup phase once that's done what's left is a dedicated line that the entire speed or capacity is available to the call 
So it provides the highest quality of service. And it's also easier to perform accounting. The phone company will always know who started the call and who terminated the call. This is the end of circuit switching technique. Thank you.